Hey, potential home buyers. Here is a little PSA on what happens when you call Zillow to try to look at a home. Um, so if you do not have an agent that you are working with and you are just looking for real estate on Zillow or online, Zillow or Trulia or even to a certain extent realtor.com, you are more than likely gonna hit a number on that screen or on your smartphone and it's gonna connect you. In the case of Zillow, Zillow's gonna answer the phone and say, hi, I'll connect you with a local agent. You're just gonna get a random agent, the pick of the draw, whoever maybe is paying for advertising in the area of where the home that you're interested in seeing is. You think you're gonna set up a property appointment, but you are gonna be asked questions by most of those agents about your qualifications. And what we are finding is that a lot of buyers, you know, they think they wanna do this on their own, they don't wanna get involved with a real estate agent, and they wanna to try to set up appointments online, kind of like buying a car from a vending machine. I'm not sure if any of you have tried that. I recently tried it, it was not a good experience. Um, so you're gonna be asked questions and one of the questions you're gonna be asked is, you know, do you have an agent that you're working with? Uh, another question that you're asked is, you know, have you been pre-approved or pre-qualified or how will you be paying for the home? And what we find sometimes is that, you know, people get really offended by those questions um, I don't know why that is because they are important questions and if you're going to go in and buy furniture or you're going to go in and buy a car, the people at those establishments are going to ask you, you know, is this going to be a cash purchase or is this going to be, uh, you know, are you going to be, be financing it? And obviously, you know, they're gonna to need to run your credit and do all that stuff. We don't have to do that as real estate agents, but we do ask that you get pre-approved um, or show us proof of funds. Um, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, one is, is that when you're a home seller, so if you can try to look at it from the opposite point of view, if you're a home seller and you're opening up your home, especially in this day and age where it's COVID and people are you know, very nervous about opening up their home to let potential buyers in there, the home seller really wants to know that you're an actual buyer and that you're not just a tire kicker and that you can actually purchase the home if you like it. Um, so that's reason number one. Reason number two is, is that we real estate agents, we are not um, employees. We don't get paid by the hour. So in order for us to you know, leave our homes and leave our offices and go out and work with you, we want to know that you are actually a viable candidate and that you are able to get financed. So um, there seems to be a lot of confusion over how Zillow works, um, and Zillow is very confused about how it works too. Zillow is not a real estate company. They really are a marketing company. So you can read a lot of reviews that are actually usually accurate on Zillow about real estate agents. And one of the things we would encourage you to do, all of us real estate agents, is pick an agent that you want to work with. Um, you can read reviews on Realtor.com. You can read reviews on Google. You can read reviews on Yelp, I believe even, although Yelp is one of those ones that you get paid, you can pay for your reviews to rank higher. Whereas Google's pretty straightforward. Zillow, you know, at least it's a good place to put your reviews, I guess, as an agent, and they are actually written by consumers. But, or ask a friend or family member who did they work with on their home purchase. It does not cost you anything currently in New York State, in our area, for you to work with a real estate agent. Um, it is free, the seller pays the commission on that sale, you know, and so you get an advocate who's working for you, who's legally bound to work for you and in your best interest, as well as ethically, if they are a realtor, because there's a difference between a real estate agent and a realtor, which we'll get into some other time. Um, if you are an actual realtor, you are bound by a code of ethics. So it is our duty to work for you as long as you have said that you want to work with us in a buyer agent capacity. It is our duty to advocate for you, to work for you, and to point out reasons why you shouldn't buy certain homes. Like this home has a bad foundation. This home is next to a landfill, you know, or a proposed landfill, all of those things. So we're here to advocate for you. So it really is in your best interest to interview a couple of agents, check out the online reviews and 
sit down with somebody via Zoom today and actually talk about the process. So that is my um, little Sunday snippet. I hope you guys have a good day. I talked a little bit too long again. My name is Cindy McMahon. I'm with Hunt Real Estate, 518-496-1299. If you have a question, talk to you soon. Bye.